Hello Gizmo. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Hello, goody, 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 goody. <laughs> What's up? So today we're heading off to Steam House because they have an event there. They're opening for the first time for students to see from inside. Really excited. Um, I haven't been there before. We're gonna go check it out. Let's see how it is, what's happening over there and what it's all about. So let's go. Oh, so in terms of expectations of uh, Innovation Fest today at Steam House, um, there's going to be a lot of professionals there from different companies. I'm expecting them to be there and just a good time. I've heard that their interior is really good. Exterior sure is interesting. And uh, yeah, let's see how it is. I don't know what exactly to expect, but let's see. It's going to be my first reaction. Okay, let's head in. <laughs> I like how like modern it is and it's very like minimal. Wow. Oh, wow really clean and I just love the interior okay let's check what it's all about there's somebody playing a game and as you can see a lot of students here we have some Game Boy things going on coding developing it's good to see like there are so many people who are kind of showing their talents and what they like because these are the people that are gonna be moving on into the industries and creating crazy stuff Okay, so in one of the tables here, I have seen some project going on. I see an RC car. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing here. Uh, so basically, we made this RC car with the purpose of it to be education for kids. So we made it reprogrammable. Okay. Uh, in order for schools to buy or for single kids to buy, reprogramming and using whatever way they want. So basically, the car is it runs through a uh, phone app. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It's probably going to be my favorite bit about this place. I just love this. Very Instagrammable. So guys, this is Saira. Hey, everyone. This is Manur. Hey. Okay, what's, what's going on? So it's like a talk? Yeah, we have like talks and stuff from like employers. Yeah. Architecture and computing talks today. Oh, sick. I mean, the students had a pretty cool projects and stuff mm -hmm. yeah, that they pitched to the investors. Yeah, yeah. So oh, sick, a sick. Whole competition, whole competition going. So they'll choose three winners. The one who's first place will win a one thousand pound prize. Mm -hmm. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> Give me that more <laughs> What are your uh, sort of reaction to the place itself, Steam House? Creative, different. Yeah. Oh, have you seen the upstairs? I That's haven't. I haven't been upstairs. Yet. I love the upstairs, but really, it's really cool. yeah, yeah. same. It's same. more like there's. There's a sitting area that's like a library, but it looks like a lounge, so you can relax there. Oh. So yeah, very different, very relaxing. Probably the best place to study in BCU, I think. Pretty nice. Yeah. Who's, uh, who's the founder? Who's the founder of Innovation Fest? Has been running for like so long. A lot of our alumni have come in. They've got great jobs. Jobs with IBM, or Microsoft, Cisco. There's so many Santander, mm. uh, Kabul. These are big uh, names. Innovation we know is. Uh, you know, fluid, uh, it's an opportunity, you've got to make it work for you, you've got to make it work for yourself uh, and the people around you. Mm. And for us, it's always been you, it's always been about the students. This is what we do. <laughs> Great. These robots are actually purchased from the project on the 5G connected forest. Mm -hmm. um, that is a 10 million pound project funded by the DCMS, which is partially the UK government. Right. And the purpose of these robots is to send them out into the forest mm -hmm. and collect data from the forest because currently are, the forests have diseases, insect infestations and um, different types of conditions that affect our climate change. Wow. So if we do send these things in, mm -hmm. then we can collect data using machine learning techniques, artificial intelligence, mm. and then hopefully that should be sent to the forest authorities to make decisions on how to mitigate those challenges. Crazy! Hello Gizmo. Yes, <laughs> sit. <laughs> Hello, goody, 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 goody. <laughs> We're about to see something interesting. Um, apparently, there's an army vest. Um, something you can probably see in a um, 
Captain America sort of movie or something you will see in Iron Man. Hello Kyle! So uh, here you can see uh, an exoskeleton suit I've developed as a prototype. Basically its, it's main purpose is to provide assistive force mm -hmm. uh, when manual handling. In a lot of situations where it's manufacture or factory work, uh, like car manufacturers, um, they do suffer from uh, bad posture. Yeah. Injury caused by you know, long, long time uh, work. Mm. Um, basically the suit itself provides uh, assistive force using springs. Uh, so there's tension springs. Mm -hmm. uh, so when my arms uh, go down, right. the springs will extend. Oh uh, yeah. And then the tension force will basically provide support here. Right. So naturally when I lift my arm up. Mm. So it's basically there to actually help uh, reduce muscle activity. Mm. Uh, and in, as a result should prevent injury or reduce injury. Mm. And here's me. Hello, how are you doing? You know, your boy looking blind now. You know how it is. So yeah, uh, apparently in the first floor, there's a lot of um, architecture work that's going on. So let's go see that. Okay, what's up everyone? Uh, here with me, I have Paul Lercock, who is the team leader for um, architecture, correct? Architectural technology. Architecture technology. And we're just gonna ask him a few things about the Innovation Fest and what's going on over here, okay? How has it been for you? Uh, this innovation fest. Good to see the employers coming in, good to see the students turning out with so much work mm -hmm. uh, and the employees have been so far been really impressed actually, leaving with CVs, with email addresses, you know, compliments at the end, yes we will be contacting these students and there's jobs to be given out. Amazing. So it's what it's all about. They're all here with their display work, the drawn work, uh, some of their report work, uh, employees are sort of filtering through, interviewing them and, and going away with their uh, you know, hopefully to offer some jobs to them. Amazing. Innovation Fest is excellent. It's, it's possibly one of the better ideas I've seen the university have in quite a few years. Okay. There is literally so much work going on. So if you're a new student, you're thinking about it, please do it. We'd be happy to have you. Existing students, work hard on your projects. Start early, get the work in, talk to your tutors, and celebrate your achievement at the end of the year. Okay, so I have just met up with a student here, Sydney. I'm just going to ask her like, what's the project about and what's going on, so let's hear it from Sydney. Making houses more sustainable. Mm -hmm. Since climate change has been worsening each year, um, the heat increases, so carbon dioxide increases. So the main goal of this project is to design a house that reduces the percentage of carbon dioxide emissions. As you can see, I've implemented green roofs, solar panels, um, permeable pavements, a rainwater harvester. This is our first prototype of our solar tractor. Okay. So this is our final part of our solar tractor. So at the moment the solar panels are taken off, but okay. they'll be on here. They're, they're just, the, just a quick demo here. So essentially this, is, this will be our sunlight uh -huh. uh, and it will be tracking the, tracking the phones. Oh, as if this was the solar panel, so it can, it can go all the way down, it can go all the way up, 45 degrees. Uh, it can go up to 180 degrees, tracking the sun. As you can see, we, we have a, a, a power bank here. Uh -huh. So uh, our separate system here, it outputs uh, 5 volts, 2 amps, so uh -huh. it, would, it would convert energy so we can power any small applications. So the rise of um, rise of uh, energy prices, this would be something that people would use at home so they can charge devices so they don't have to rely on, you know, mains to mm. power their devices. Uh, we just spoke to some of the tutors and students for architecture department and we're just gonna go around and check out some more things. Interior, I mean that's great, look at that. It's really cool. I would just love to come sit here and work, if not work just like just relax.
all in all, my impressions about Steam House that it's a very good place and I could just come in. It'd be cool to see, um, obviously, students here coming, working with their projects and just utilizing the space to do what they do. And uh, all in all, I like it. <laughs>